Elvis Presley died today. He was 42. Apparently, it was a heart attack. He was found at his home in Memphis, not breathing. His road manager tried to revive him. He failed. A hospital tried to revive him. It failed. His doctor pronounced him dead at 3 o'clock this afternoon. The end at an early age of one of the two most spectacular careers in the history of American entertainment, the other being Frank Sinatra. What is up, guys? Welcome back to Urban Ghost Hunters. Guys, this week I brought somebody back with me to the mausoleum. He has never been here, and so I had to bring him, guys. You remember Ian from the Bell Witch Cemetery? What's up, Ian? Hey, what's going on? Hey, guys. Go check his channel out. I'm going to leave a link down in the description. Memphis Drone Company, some epic drone footage. I love his drone shots. Uh, the drone shots you saw at Bell Witch Cemetery came from that guy right back there. Go show him some love, guys. All the new subscribers, we appreciate you. We love you all. Guys, stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this place. It is epic. All right, let's get into it, guys. guys so real quick uh drones over there and over there he's got his got his little camera going uh he's running full spectrum night vision uh para rig is set up right there you remember the para rig um it's shooting down the same corridor where we caught that wish thing at uh, a lot of you probably saw it on rick's debunks channel but uh so guys, uh, stay tuned to watch a little bit more on that. That video is actually going to be featured on a TV show coming out. I'll give you some details on that later. But they're actually going to have some people look at it and analyze it. Um, anyway, I kind of got my suspicion of what it might be, thanks to another YouTuber. But we're going to see what the other people think about it. Um, down at the hallway, down at the end, down here, you can see... We've got the rim pod set up. New little gadget that we're gonna play with. It hasn't gone off so far yet, but I was outside getting some batteries and stuff for the cameras, and Ian actually heard something. It sounded like metal, like one of these gates down here were shutting or moving or something. What was it? Something moving, yeah. Uh, sounded like a plane, like a, well. Kind of kinda like that? Yeah. Well, that's wow that is crazy so guys look at here so you remember last time we were here all this was covered up you couldn't see in here but anyway just kind of showing there's a vault back there that's actually open there's nothing in there but it is open um but anyway guys so we have this you'll hear it you'll hear it if it actually goes off um just kind of walking around checking it out we're uh we're gonna let that camera sit static on the para rig. It's filming in full spectrum, UV and infrared. And what was that? Oh, was it okay? I thought it was the K2 meter beeping. <laughs> um, anyway, guys. So for some of you who may have not seen any of the the videos from this place so far. This is actually a pretty, pretty cool place. It's actually the original resting place for Elvis Presley and his family. Um, guys, this place, we've always, I mean, every time we've come here, we've actually always captured something here. Uh, whether it's audio evidence or visual evidence for that matter. But anyway, guys, right behind me, that was Elvis Presley's actual, actual resting place. So he's got a, there's a book here, of course, that uh, you can see. It's, I mean, it has people from all over the world. Scranton, Pennsylvania. 
Yep. <laughs> uh, but guys, all over the from all over the world. Wow. Just personal letters, personal notes. You can see actual from back when uh, Drew was here. 303 Paranormal TV, Drew. So you remember I brought them, them guys out here and let them check this place out. Ian was actually supposed to come with us then, but he, I think he had something come up and wasn't able to make it. So we, uh, we finally got a chance to get back out this way, guys. Um, pretty cool place, so still a little bit of damage. This place is kind of defunct. It's not really being maintenance. Oh. Hey, Ian. You don't think it was this glass falling on the floor down here, do you? That whole no, that no, window no, just metal when the glass breaking. No. It, it could have been something blowing on it, or flapping or something, maybe. Yeah, but it's. But it, but it came from that. That's side. Side. place, right? Yeah, it came from the other side. But, I'm, I'm hoping that your camera never picked it up. The noise. That is crazy. I know this place doesn't have a, the ventilation fans up there. They don't work. I've been here in the dead of summer, and they aren't huh. turn on working. Yeah, that's heat, huh? The heat? Uh, uh, I, it's a uh, think they're for they use them for ventilation. Oh, okay. Kind of keep it aired out. So, guys, it's not a real big mausoleum, but it is actually really one of Memphis's only mausoleums that uh that's out here i mean anywhere in in around this area um there's elmwood cemetery which is one of memphis's most historic cemeteries but they still they don't even have a mausoleum uh this is about the only one in memphis there's there's one more where we actually filmed that where we reviewed the evidence that we captured from here and, uh, but that's actually inside the funeral home. What's cool is this, <clears throat> there's a lot, there's, I've actually done a little bit of research on some of the names of the people that are, that are entombed here. And some of them are pretty big notables from Memphis, you know. Uh, one was an author, that guy right there, matter of fact, Alozan. He was actually a, he's actually an author, published uh, like three books. Um, and then he came, came, moved to Memphis and took a job with the Commercial Appeal until he retired. It's kind of a lighter atmosphere in here than, than what, we, what I usually feel when I'm here. Usually, you know, it's a little bit of like anxiety, a little bit of tension, but it's actually, I don't know, it's actually kind of calm in here. Other than I kept having a major malfunction with uh, batteries, batteries kept wanting to die, but uh, I haven't heard anything weird yet. I'm I'm really surprised. Nothing, no no real. I haven't heard any noises other than what Ann heard. But I was outside at the at the car grabbing batteries and cords and stuff for the for the ghost box. So uh, let me be clear. I, I did hear something. I, I did. Hear, there was a dog barking way off somewhere, and I, I heard the dog. But it, I said it sounded like somebody was like muffled talking. I don't. That's what it sounded like. Hello. Is anybody here? See, you hear that dog? I hear the dog. That's weird. It sounded like somebody was just muffled, like they were talking into a, like talking into a piece of a shirt or something. You grab this guy too. Right, so, Ann's got a 
digital recorder. And I'm holding, I've got a K2 meter with me that shouldn't go off to the camera. You know what? Let me, uh, let me turn my phone on airplane mode real quick. Rookie mistake. You got it. You got it. Oh, yep. Okay. 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 So my phone's sitting over there on the pair rig, hooked up with. Uh, it is actually hooked up to a hooked up to a shotgun mic. And I'm running an app on there called Dolby On. Now, if uh, if you don't have a digital recorder handy, you can actually record with that Dolby On app. It doesn't interfere with anything else, and it'll it'll run in the background, so it can run the full time. Um, and then you're able to actually transfer that file, and you can transfer it straight into some audio, you know, to your computer and go through and then analyze your audio evidence from it, but it's a great app. And if you're gonna use an app investigating, that's the app I recommend using. None of the other stuff, don't, don't use that other stuff. Use, use the uh, digital recorder and see what you can capture. Uh, you might be surprised. No, I'm still recording. It's just, I see a red light and that's it. <laughs> um, see, that's the only light that we're actually looking at now, guys, is, is the Full spectrum light off of the end camera and see it's pitch black that's what we're looking at other than that one little red light that you see um, if there's anybody here you can come up and talk to us in is holding a recorder in his hand if you speak we might can hear you can you come up and tell us your name I'm Eric, and this is Ian with me. You might remember me before. Chris and I come down here and visit with you quite a bit. Can you come up and tell us your name? Can you tell me if you're a male or female? Do you know what year it is? Can you tell us what year you passed away? So, I guess, let's, uh, I tell you what, Ian, you wanna walk down here by that? Yeah. Oh, I love the K2 meter sitting over here. Grab a K2 meter. We'll walk down here, down this corridor, and we'll set this. If, if it goes off, we'll hear it. We'll set that right there. And uh, I guess we'll. Uh, you got your digital recorder on you? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. So let me see if this is recording. Yep. Okay. All right. So hang tight real good, quick. Ian, I'm going to grab that night vision camera so we can go completely lights out.
lights or this green light over here, either one. It'll light up when you touch it. Can you move something? wants to talk to us? I'm here. 
Guys, we are fixing to get out of here. Well, I don't, I don't, we gotta go home and analyze and go through video, audio, and listen to what all we had on there. It was a bunch, you know, who knows? I don't know what we captured. Uh, I don't know, it, it just, it feels different tonight. I, I don't know this, I've been here a dozen times and it just, it felt different tonight. I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, guys, be sure to go check in out over at Memphis Drone Company. Go check his channel out. Guys, he has some epic, epic drone shots. Don't forget, also, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Hit the bell, too, so you know every time you drop some footage. Guys, we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye, guys.